A milestone moment for a wind energy project 27 miles off of the Virginia Beach coast. Dominion Energy finished construction of the first offshore wind project in federal water. Governor Ralph Northam kicked off the day by signing new offshore wind legislation, followed by a trip to see the new wind turbines. 13 News Now reporter Megan Shin joined the boat ride and gives us a look at the finished product. Off the shore of Virginia Beach sits two wind turbines, each one about 620 feet tall, both of them part of the first ever offshore wind farm in U.S. waters. Dominion Energy just finished the pilot project on Friday. Governor Ralph Northam says he thinks having this wind energy gives the state of Virginia an edge. We always want to stay a couple steps ahead of the other states, and I think we can do that here in the Commonwealth. Together, the two turbines create enough renewable energy to power 3,000 Virginia homes, but Northam says this project can help even more by opening additional jobs in Virginia. It's about our environment. It's about our economy. It's about bringing up to 14,000 new jobs here in Hampton Roads. These pilot turbines are quite a view from only feet away. So it's very impressive. It's impressive, but expensive. This pilot project cost about $300 million, but it was paid for with money from the Grid Transformation and Security Act. The project was approved in 2018 and took years to get to this point. Point. But the completion of building these two turbines marks the beginning of a 180 wind turbine commercial project, which is why Dominion Energy officials say the two turbines now set the example. Uh, to see it go from conceptual engineering to actual structures in the water was amazing. Delegate Cliff Hayes says it's a start for changing the way Hampton Roads looks at energy. The wind is the fuel. So we're excited about this clean generation. As for now, the two pilot turbines will go through testing before beginning to produce energy later this summer. Construction for the 180 turbine project won't happen until 2024. In Virginia Beach, Megan Shen, 13 News Now.